As the film starts, young Tad Stones plays with his toys, exploring as an archaeologist. Some neighborhood kids make fun of him for not finding any treasures, but he eventually finds one of his late father's favorite cufflinks, and his granny assures him that he'll be the best treasure hunter when he grows up. Later that night, a mummy sculpture scares him, and he vows that someday when he grows up, the bandaged face won't scare him anymore. Some years later, Tad Stones is all grown up, and he is a construction worker for the city's subway. However, Tad is always daydreaming about treasure hunting, and he also brings along his dog, Jeff, who is named after Thomas Jefferson, the forefather of American archaeology. Tad gets fired when his dog pees on the foreman, and his workmates wonder how he's going to pay for his expenses since he's always getting fired. However, Tad feels like he has another calling, and he leaves rather happily and heads to the Metropolitan Museum to show Professor Humbert his latest discovery so he could earn from it. Moving through the scary mummies and statues in the museum, he finds Professor Humbert, who claims that Tad's treasure was just a replica, but he still encourages him that one day he will find something valuable. Professor Humbert also gets a mail from his fellow archaeologist, Professor Lavrov, complaining that he just found the remaining half key to the golden city of Paititi, one of the biggest archaeological discoveries. Professor Humbert has to travel all the way to Peru with his half of the key, and Tad Stones immediately drives him to the airport. On the way, Humbert reveals that 500 years ago, the Incas discovered that the Spaniards wanted to take all their gold, and Mother Nature told them to hide their gold in a secret place called Paititi. In exchange, Mother Nature gave them a golden statue called the Golden Indian of Paititi, which grants the gift of immortality to whoever guards it. So it is still believed that they live in the lost city, thanks to the magic power of the Golden Indian, though it's just a legend. At the airport, Professor Humbert slips on the wet floor and Tad mistakes and gives him the wrong sleeping pills, and he faints. Meanwhile, a mysterious guy spying on them reports to his boss, who is carrying out an excavation somewhere, that he has seen the tablet. Professor Humbert gets taken to the hospital and Tad is forced to take the flight in his stead, so he travels with his dog, Jeff, from Chicago to Cusco, Peru. There he meets with Freddy, a hustler sent by Professor Lavrov, to find him, and Professor Lavrov's daughter, who also appears. However, before he could say hi, Tad gets kidnapped by some men, leaving his backpack containing the tablet. The kidnappers ask Tad to give them the tablet, but he doesn't have it, and he even escapes using a work gadget. Freddy and Lavrov then pick them up in their car and they escape, but one of the kidnappers manages to shoot a tracker into their car. Tad then reveals that he is not actually Professor Humbert, and he meets Sarah Lavrov, Professor Lavrov's daughter. Sarah takes them to their office where they find that the guys had broken in. Professor Lavrov also left Sarah the other half of the key delivered by her parrot, Belzoni, and she merges it with Tad's other half. They also learn from Belzoni that Lavrov was being chased by the same kidnappers, and so they set out to find him in Machu Picchu. While traveling, the buff kidnapper called Coponin grabs the tablet from them, but Belzoni snatches it back and flies outside with it. The tablet falls on the roof and Sarah goes after it, but the kidnappers get it again. Belzoni snatches it one more time and they escape from the train with the tablet. Later, Sarah reveals that the rogue guys are a treasure hunting group called the Odessus, and they do anything to get the treasures. Freddy then reveals his GPS device, which can take them anywhere they like, and he forms a route to Machu Picchu. Once they get to Machu Picchu, Tad and Sarah realize that they share some similar interests in archaeology, and they find a photo of Professor Lavrov in the Nazca Desert, which they figure could be a hint to Paititi. The Odessa guys still chase after them and they escape in a hot air balloon. There, Sarah narrates her sad life of losing her mother and his ever-busy father, while Tad sympathizes with her since he also lost his parents as a kid and his grandma raised him. During the flight, Jeff pukes out a tracking device which he swallowed earlier, but it's too late since the bad guys appear with their choppers. They are then captured by the Odessa team and taken to their sight cells where Sarah reunites with Professor Lavrov. They also meet Max Morden, a famous archaeologist who presumes he was captured for his great exploration skills in mummies and Egyptian sarcophagi. Tad is also shocked and disappointed to see him kiss Sarah. 
The pirate leader grabs the tablet from Sarah and places it on the mapped wall. Professor Lavrov is then forced to read the map for them, and they take him to that place he directed them. Later, Tad realizes that the written wall is actually a door, and they enter through it to find the map to Paititi. Freddy tries stealing a shiny piece of art, and the place begins to crumble. Sarah quickly tries to decipher the map, and she figures out Paititi is in the jungle, while the bad guys are digging in the desert. They then escape to the outside after Jeff finds a narrow passage for them. Freddy has had enough and wishes to go home, but he could continue with them if they give him a bonus payment for that, but his pleas are blown away by the wind. The team needs to move fast before Coponen's team realizes their mistake. The only method of traveling is an excavator, but thankfully Tad knows how to drive one from his previous construction jobs and he ferries them away. After a long and tiring journey, they arrive at the jungle and decide to rest the night out in the woods. Elsewhere, Coponen and his men have dug around the desert all night without finding any clues to the lost city. Coponen also informs Max Morden, who happens to be working with Odessus, but they hide their plans from others. Meanwhile, in the jungle, the team splits up to find any traces of the hidden city. Tad gets attacked by a puma, and he hides inside a tree while the others chase it away. There, Tad finds a passage with writings and follows it to finally find the hidden temple of Paititi. Meanwhile, after another hour of unsuccessful digging, Coponen and Max conclude that Professor Lavrov could be toying with them. Using some binoculars, they see bats coming out of a cave that Sarah's team uncovered in the jungle, and they discover the professor's treachery. While checking the cave, Tad drops a piece of metal to hear its depth, but underneath a mummy's hand catches it, and so they can't hear any sound of it. Later, the Odessus team finds them, and Coponen enters the cave with Sarah, Lavrov, Max, and some of his henchmen, while the other team are forced to stay back. Tad and Freddy fight and defeat the guards on top, with help of Belzoni's bird friends. Tad later follows the guys into the temple alone, but inside he enters a different passage than the other team. There, he meets a mummy, and they are both scared of each other. Tad runs to the other tunnel to meet the team, and he tries telling Sarah that Max is evil, and he ordered his goons to kill them, but Max, in turn, tells Sarah that Tad is a construction worker. However, one guard accidentally calls Max his boss, and Sarah realizes Tad was right. The mummy then unleashes a fireball trap which wipes out some of the goons while Coponen falls into a booby trap. They finally find a passage to the golden statue, and Max goes in, followed by Tad Stones. Max attempts to steal the golden statue, but the mummy who has protected the place for 500 years appears with a giant golem. Max tricks him out of the golem, and he uses it to attack the two. Tad then throws a necklace from the mummy at Max, and he loses balance and falls off. The golem also falls, breaking the statue's glass, and Max grabs the statue, wishing for eternal life. But he is shocked when he is transformed into a mummy. Mummy then unveils to them the golden city of Paititi, with all the treasures of the Incas, and he orders his men to take Max to their dungeons. Mummy agrees to let Tad's team leave safely provided they don't tell anyone about the Golden City, and Tad leaves him his father's cufflink as a promise. Upon returning to the surface, they tell Freddy that the treasure of the Incas was only a legend, and the real treasure is being with the people that you love. Tad and Sarah confess their love to each other, and later, the whole team leaves in an Odessus excavator, bringing the exciting film to an end. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel. I'll be back with another interesting movie recap. Until then, take care.